My name is Steve. Welcome back to my shop. I want to thank everyone that viewed and commented on my last video. It was on making the die stock holder for the, uh, the lathe. And it's one of the better viewed videos that I have had lately. So I appreciate that. And in this video, we're going to see it put into action. I asked if anybody was interested in seeing making oil cups for the little Stuart S50 steam engine, and I got a pretty positive response on it. So this video is making the oil cups for the engine. Uh, off camera, I pre-drilled four different locations. Uh, one each on for the slide head and one each for the main bearings and the main bearing holes were actually were already in existence and they had been drilled previous and I ended up having to tap them out to 832 because of the size that they were the ones on these rails are tapped to 440 in this video, I'll go through the steps that I went through to make the oil cups. I have basically two setups. I am doing it on the little 618 Atlas lathe. Just because of the size of them, it's easier to do on the small lathe. So let's get started. I'm machining these fittings out of quarter inch hex brass. I've already parted it off and my parting tool left a perfectly square nice finish on the rod so I'm not going to face it off again. Uh, the first one that I did I faced off. but My first dimension I'm going to turn the body of this down to point 164 which is the diameter for an 832 and I'm going to do that 3 sixteenths of an inch long since I'm only making a couple of these I'm just setting them up using a ruler I'm not doing a production line on them so there's my 3 sixteenths and I'll mark it there. Okay, I've got a witness mark now for my 3 sixteenths. I just double check it. Yeah, that's good. Well, now I'm going to turn it down to 164. See where I'm at. One sixty, about one sixty-six. I'm gonna just take a couple more thousands off of it, so that I leave a little bit of uh, leeway for my die to get started. Uh, 
Now if you can see I've got a nice bevel on it which is an appearance feature for the oil cup. Now I'm going to go in and just cut a little bit of a chamfer on the edge, start the thread. die fixture in that I made in my last video and this is what I made it for. I'm going to reposition the camera so that you can see that what's going on there. Okay. the best position I could get the camera in. As you can see that I cut a nice set of threads. And my next operation, I'll leave the camera in this position, is to turn the body of it down for another 3 sixteenths of an inch and I'm going to turn it down to quarter inch diameter so that it's round and that there again is not a functional feature it's strictly for appearance move the material out just a little bit more give myself some room I don't want to crash my tool bit Double check it. That's good. That's three sixteenths. really not concerned so much about the diameter is that I want to make sure all the flats are off of it. I gotta take one more light cut there's still a flat showing. Next operation is to cut it off. I'm going to leave approximately a uh, eighth inch hex. And there's the finished roughing of the 
I've got two more to do that I'm going to thread to a 440 and then we'll set up to do the second set of operations on the inside. Here is my setup for the second operation. I have a number two Morse taper to ER16 collet set up with the drawbar. And now I can put these pieces in the collet. First thing I do is take and cut off the nib. There it is. Now I'm taking chamfer to the top edge. Now the next operation I'm drilling a hole for the the oil reservoir and I found a center drill it's a number five center drill and it's the ideal diameter for the reservoir plus it's a good depth for it and it gives me the ability to cut a little bit of a chamfer on the inside all in one operation so
Here are the completed oil cups. I'm going to install them now. I mentioned while I was machining them that I drilled the orifice in them with the at one millimeter which is very much an experiment at this point And the oilers are all installed. I put a little shot of oil in each one. The oil is going down quite rapidly in these two and it's barely moving in the main bearings. That's okay. I think we've got it. That should be the last time that you see the S50 steam engine. That is until I build a boiler for it. No promises, but it's on my list of things to do. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.